All right, uh, I've been trying to do a video here, but my phone or something something happens, I get interrupted or audio cuts out, but here we go. Uh, long and short of it, I feel perfectly fine about this sideways action. Um, you know, if we saw the spring in the spring test, an LPS that just moves sideways is better than the uh, LPS that looks like the handle on a cup and handle where it comes down. Uh, this this is actually a very strong sign you know we've got we've got what we're looking for you know we found support at 34.8 the uh, we got our SOS here this big green bar we got our secondary test here in the yellow box I mean sorry spring test in the yellow box followed by the spring uh, you know again all we're really looking to see here is the shakeouts and the tests and then we're looking at the characteristics of the shakeout and the tests <clears throat> so the sign of strength would be uh, increased volume rising price large green bars like we see here and if we go to the one hour it becomes very obvious so if we look we've got SOS SOS, SOS, right? Small ones, small ones. There could be more than one. The main one that most of the um, Wyckoff charts will talk about is an SOS over here where it jumps the creek and then you get the backup. Uh, there's some SOSs down here and our LPS in yellow is going to be the sideways action. Now the one thing I want to point out is <clears throat> here we had that cup and handle, cup and handle looking LPS those are a little weaker right sign of a retest so now it's like we're trying to catch uh, the tail here of the prey and it's running away so if we zoom in right sideways not a lot of trading room I stopped doing my little um, swing trades after this here I had no margin I barely got away with it here broke even basically here accumulated it a little a little bit like two percent i added to my bitcoin total um and now we're in this range even smaller still you know this one at least we had a bottom right this one had some room to play this i mean there's there's nothing there right it's hard to trade that when you've got like a $500 range to play with. So I've I've taken that off the table, kind of moved to more of a hold. All right, expectations of what to think next. Uh, you know, we have 39.4 here. Uh, price typically likes to reject or jump over 39. It would prefer to be lower or above it if it's gonna play anywhere. But what we want to see is, I, well, what I'd like to see is level off here, leg up at one point. Uh, I don't know when, but the next move would be to leg up, get to about 39, and then jump the creek. And by jumping the creek, I mean getting over a metaphoric line. And to draw it out, think of the creek as sort of connecting the dots at the top of the trading range so if we look at that all right something like this so the creek would be shoot the creek would be somewhere around here right I drew that a little something like that price then gets the 39 and you know some sort of eight to ten percent run gets over and then comes back to it if i had to guess i uh already would set up my buys at 40.8 thinking 40.7 would be the bottom but i've done it so many times where i've missed by 25 dollars i now round up it's it's not worth missing the buy um when you anticipate it to run and that's what would happen so if we were to see 
some sort of crazy jump from 38 to 39 over the 41 42 range land somewhere above 42 43 would be the target um, and then it backs up right so this would be an SOS then it would back up let me draw that a little bit clearer so SOS comes back and then runs again you want to make sure you're in by this point and that's basically what I see happening next. So up sideways, up sideways, big jump, pull back like we're used to, and then parabolic run. And, you know, I don't know, just because I'm saying parabolic, I'm not thinking, you know, 100K or anything crazy. You know, I'm still 88K by the end of the year. I'd like to think 65K by end of September if that's at all possible but realistically um, we should get into the 40s pretty easily at that point and then maybe touch 50 and then come back down um, I'd want to I'd probably want to just make sure I'm paying attention and um, not blindly accumulate into that there's going to be there's going to be a little bit of a, a retrace on that at one point but the near future is this is, is this here all right uh, at least I got this video in I'm just gonna throw it up see what happens all right like and subscribe cool